All right, everybody, how we doing? We're back here, Stephen with Rancho Family Medical Group and Dr. Kyle Vincent. How you doing? All right, so today is our second recipe of the day, and this is going to be a Whole30 recipe, avocado toast with sweet potato instead of the toast. If you're not familiar with Whole30, it's a... It's, it's a lot. It's a tough challenge. I remember when I challenge. first heard about it, I think it was like, there's this new diet that you'll never be able to do. And I looked through it and it was like, you're, I mean, you're cutting out a lot of things, but there's intention behind the diet, yeah, right? I absolutely. Mean, you're mostly cutting out a ton of processed foods, sugars, preservatives, a ton of things that really, really, in a very negative way, make your health horrible. I mean, you know, so you go down the list, coffee with caffeine in it, you really want to do that. Alcohol is a part of it that you eliminate as well. Um, again, between the calories that you're eliminating and then the processed foods from just an oxidant standpoint, you really cut down a lot of that. And, and um, it, it's challenging looking at it. So this is, this is a good way to start. Avocado toast, with, but with not with bread, because you're cutting out a whole lot of gluten and wheat um, with, uh, with the Whole30 diet. So anxious to, look, to get started. So I think it's important to note that it's a, it is a challenging diet, but mm -hmm. it's not something that is something you're going to be doing for no. months and months and years. It is a, it is a 30 day diet to yeah. kind of this like is not a lifestyle. This is not a lifestyle change. This is just like, a, like you said, like a 30 day cleanse 100%. and then you slowly but surely progress back up. So perfect. So we're going to get started real quick. So first thing we're going to do is there are a bunch of ways we have a sweet potato. You can do the, the red yams, kind of whatever you prefer for that. I love the, the nutrients that come from sweet potato and just the overall taste of it. So that's what we have here. Um, we're gonna cut these up. You can do this in the oven. You can, we're gonna do it in the grill since we're outside and, and why not take advantage of that? So we're gonna grill our sweet potatoes. I've also seen it done in the toaster, like yeah. literally just doing some slice, slices, put in the toaster, toaster and like you push it like three or four times. Sweet. But if you're in a rush and you can just crank that on there, do that way. So we're gonna get this cut. Before we do, one of the most important things of your kitchen is your knife. Uh, you have to have a sharp knife. They say that you'll never cut yourself on a sharp knife um, because if your knife is dull and it's not taken care of, it will slip and it's mm. still sharp enough to cut your finger. So right. I definitely recommend getting one of these. Um, and I will typically, before using my knife, I'll run through maybe 10 times and you go away from yourself, not towards yourself, come through a couple of times on this side and then underneath, a couple on this side. And then also once we're done cutting, I'll usually feel like wash the knife, finish it, run one more time through, and then put it off to the side. That way it's always a super sharp knife. So go ahead, Dr. Vincent, if you want to get us some slits. If you'll notice right here, what we've got going is he's just going to cut the very bottom off just a tiny bit and is going to give the base a little bit of structure. So he's right here. It's no longer going to move around on you. That's really good to do with onions. It's super helpful to do with the potato, stuff like that. So you just cut off a little bit of the base so you can be pushing straight. And then you're just going to aim sharp point down, push through, drag it straight through, watching thumbs and push through hard. There you go. Perfect. And we're going to do a couple of slits straight through the sweet potato. Okay. So next up, we've got these cut up. They look perfect. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. You can use avocado oil. Um, you can use canola oil, but these are just a better oil for you. Yeah. And we're just going to do a little bit, drizzle it on top kind of cover it here and then I'll go ahead and do it so you don't get all oily as well here and again we're going to do this on the grill go ahead feel free to throw this in the oven it would be like 400 degrees or so for 20 minutes just to get that roasted we're going to do the grill to enjoy this so go ahead if you want to grab these yeah. let's go throw these on the grill is that right, sir? the grill's been preheating it is at uh I just had the grill on high, so we'll throw these on there for a couple of minutes and let them sit and get nice and charred. Perfect, right next to it's great. All right, we're gonna close the lid and let these finish up. All right. Okay, so we've done about five minutes aside. It's looking really good. That's good. Go ahead and grab those with the tongs and we'll bring those back over and get this finished off. I, I love the just, flavor that the grill brings um i've done this in the oven as well but i just something about open fire and flames awesome. it's just so good so we're going to turn this off and head back over all right okay 
so far so good, right? That looks that was good. That's pretty solid. That so good. now we're going to always salt and pepper. If you just want to do a tiny bit, a little pinch of the salt and pepper on there, I'm going to grab this avocado and do some really nice thin slices. If you do you like your avocados mashed or are you doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter to you. Yeah, it can be mashed. As long as it it's avocado. Be, oh, exactly. Okay. Well, I'm going to do slices. I like the way it looks. Um, obviously, it doesn't taste any different, but aesthetically, I like the way the sliced avocados yeah, look. So let me come in here, get a nice whole scoop of the entire avocado, try and keep it as intact as possible. Okay. I'll wash my hands, I promise, Dr. Benson. <laughs> okay. We're going to come over here, and then just to make it look nice, we're going to spread, spread it, it just like that. Yeah. These are some very ripe avocados, so you got to be gentle. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to get me a piece as well. Something like that. Okay, so I know that you're like me in that eggs need to go on Everything. anything it can go on. Anything right? go on. Burger, like any sort of like protein bowl. Exactly. If you can put an egg on it, it's going on there. Yeah, so burrito with an egg in it. Like, <laughs> it, it, it all makes sense. All right. So what we're going to do, we got a couple different options. Um, as far as the egg's concerned, one, obviously you can skip it. Um, I never recommend that. No. If you can throw the egg on there, do it. We've got a fried egg. We just did with a little bit of olive oil. Um, you can do scrambled eggs. If you're trying to cut out the yolks and you want to do just egg whites, egg whites great. Yeah. Throw those on top. That's very healthy. So we're going to go ahead. If you want to throw one of these on top, there's just a nice fried egg. And then we have a couple soft boiled eggs. Now, one of our incredible assistants, Sienna, who's normally running the camera for us today, but she's she's going to be behind the scenes today. She did some parboiled eggs or soft boiled eggs. We uh, you get water going, um, get it a full rolling boil, not just a little simmer, a full boil. Very gently put these in for a six minute timer, and then as soon as it's out, pull the eggs out, run them under some cool water to stop the cooking process, and they peel. So. We haven't cut these open. I don't actually know what these will look like, but <laughs> we're going to see how it goes. So we'll put that right there. We're going to put this on top. And moment of truth, how do we do? Oh, she crushed it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I thought we were going to have to send like a Google link of what it was supposed <laughs> to look like, but that looks incredible. That looks really good. Sienna, very well done. Um, I have an extra one. I don't know. We're just going to put it on yeah, top of this other on one. Top, then. Yeah. Look at this. Ready? A beautiful cut and just a little oh, bit of run, run through this. it. Yeah. Man, that is absolute perfection right there so here we go the very final step is just a little bit of lemon juice on top um, the acidity to it really livens everything up and it's really really good so tip did you know about the the rolling it have you ever done no. that before no not the roll no okay so if you were just to cut this straight out of like from the grocery store you're only gonna get a little bit of juice okay. but if you put it down and put a bunch of pressure on it and roll oh. it around it softens it quite a bit, and the amount of juice you're going to get from the lemon is going to be way more. So why don't you go ahead and give that a squeeze right on top. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. A lot more. Okay. Looks absolutely incredible. So just like Looks that, great. let me go ahead and plate these up a little bit. Because you don't overcook the the, uh, the sweet potato, it's still pretty, like, firm, firm, you know? So it's not just going to explode on you, but yeah. you can definitely eat it with a, uh, with a, a fork and knife as and well. And that's good that you can kind of alter it, too, because you can make it as soft or as hard as you want as well if you want to just and fork it. So that'd be nice. Yeah. Okay, so just like that, you have an incredible breakfast for the Whole30. Yeah. Um, again, not a super easy diet, but it has tons of benefits. So. Yeah. Uh, definitely recommend you guys try it. Check it out. Try the whole 30 for a month and get your system cleansed out. Um, and who knows, maybe this is day one. Maybe, yeah. Oh, we maybe. might have to start it maybe. this way. So have we'll to get, do it. We'll have to figure out what to do for dinner, but <laughs> <laughs> figure awesome. that out. But absolutely. Perfect. Well, thank you, Dr. Vincent, for hanging out with us. Not if you problem. guys, Dr. Vincent at our Red Hawk location, Temecula Parkway, come check him out. And uh, we'll see you guys for the next one. Thank All you. Right.